Oh, what's going on guys? Tactical Bacon here, and welcome to a solo series of DayZ Overwatch. Now, I'm going to be playing on a different server than the one that I was playing on, and I'm not really going to end that series, it's just kind of in the middle right now. Uh, I just wanted to take this time to explain, or not really explain, but give you guys my overall impressions on the Overwatch mod, because I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to come back to it or not. Uh, there's some things that interest me, there's some things that don't really interest me, and that's pretty much what we're going to be going over today. Um, as you guys can see, I'm playing in the ZomZ server, or Zombies, however you really want to fucking pronounce it. But yes, I'm playing on that server, and I just heard a gunshot come from Electro. I'm pretty sure, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm in Electro right now. Um, I've been playing for about 20 minutes, and that's actually the first gunshot that I've heard, so I'm not really sure if someone's around, or if they're in the town. I think it came from, like, the fire station, yeah. I just heard another shot, so I'm pretty sure it's somewhere at the fire station. I'm sure I'll see some zombie aggro here at some point. And there's a third shot, too, so... I don't know, maybe somebody... Oh, Jesus Christ. There's probably somebody down there uh, dealing with zombies or something. But, um, yeah. Real quick, I just wanted to give you guys my overall... After I, uh, fix this, turn the voiceover network down... Um, that way I don't have to hear people whenever they get on global. Uh, but yeah. Just real quick, uh, impressions. <laughs> oh, Taylor Swift's anus. I love that name. Uh, but anyways, real quick, uh, overall impressions of Daisy Overwatch mod. Um, some of the things I like about it is it's just pretty much just right into the action. You don't have to really worry about looting because you're really not going to survive that long unless, I don't know, maybe maybe if you go up north there's not really a whole lot of action up there because those really there's really no spawn points up there. Uh, I guess it really all depends on what kind of server you get into, but I don't remember seeing any spawn points in the north when I spawned in. And Taylor Swift's anus just keeps demolishing people. <laughs> oh my lord. Anyways, um, I don't see any zombie aggro near the closest fire station to me. Uh, there are some zombies kind of in the center of town, though, so hopefully I should be good. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, you know, Daisy Overwatch is a mod that basically, if you don't want to worry about base building, if you don't want to worry about, you know, going around and looting for 30 minutes and then just to be kill, uh, to the mixing up my words here. Uh, if you don't want to run around for 30 minutes looting up and everything just to be killed, then I would say Daisy Overwatch is probably what you're looking for. Nine times out of ten, you spawn in with a weapon. Uh, sometimes it's a shitty weapon. Uh, I've spawned in with a crossbow before. Sometimes you spawn in with like a pistol or something like that. Uh, nine times out of ten, you really don't spawn in with too much ammo. You spawn in with just enough ammo to kill, you know, two or three people maybe. And that's pretty much it. I mean, there's really... I don't know if there's really an end game to Daisy Overwatch. Um, it's probably just straight up PvP. Uh, I remember seeing a comment saying that it's basically Call of Duty Daisy. And I mean, that's, that's a pretty accurate statement to make. I mean, <clears throat> excuse me, but yeah, you, you really don't get... <laughs> Oh my god, every time I see that name, I, I just have to make a comment on it. Taylor Swift's anus has killed someone from 59 meters away. And then, obviously, Taylor Swift's anus was killed as well. Uh, ooh, a skin. There's a lot of different... Oh, it's just, it's just uh, civilian clothing, but there are a lot of different skins in Daisy Overwatch. That's probably one of the pros. Um, I'm not going to take either one of those weapons. Um, but yeah, you know, if, if, if you're not really looking to spend a whole lot of time, if you're not really expecting your lifespan to last that long every time you play Daisy, then Daisy Overwatch is probably the way you should go. Um, I don't know. I mean, there's, there's really not many pros that I can think of besides just 
quick PvP, you can get into some action fairly easily, as long as you go to the right places. Um, and nine times out of ten, like I said, you spawn along the coast somewhere, so... Electro, Cherno, Belota, those are probably the best places to go for just all-out all all PvP. Um, yeah, there's, there's a couple people dying. I have not heard any more gunshots recently, so... I'm gonna come back up here, over here on this hill, and see if I can see anything, but... Yeah, uh, the cons, as far as playing DayZ Overwatch, um... The PvP is pretty much all there is to do. Uh, I can't... Okay, now there are more gunshots coming from town. It sounds like it's coming from, like, the other fire station over there. Maybe even the hospital. Not exactly sure. Um, but yeah, you know, let's just go over some of the cons for playing Daisy Overwatch spe uh, specifically. Like I was saying, your lifespan is not very long. You know, you're not going to last too long. Like I said, unless you're, unless you just go up north or you happen to just spawn in in a town that really doesn't have a whole lot of PvP going on in it. Um... I managed to come down here from, I believe it was Kaminka, no, not Kaminka, um, uh, Kamishovo, yeah, yeah, I spawned around Kamishovo somewhere, and then I just kind of worked my way around through the woods, and I mean, that seemed like the pretty safe way to go, uh, you know, just kind of sticking around the outskirts of the cities and stuff like that, but... You know, nine times out of ten, you're probably not going to last that long in Daisy Overwatch, which means, you know, it's good because you don't have to go around and loot or anything like that, but it's also bad because, you know, you might want to spend a little time with your with your favorite gun, your M14s or your DMRs or whatever. <coughs> but yeah, I mean, you know, there's, there's not really any base building. I mean, you could take over areas and stuff like that. Um, and just kind of, like, hold down, like, if you wanted to hold down the church or the hospital or something like that. There's a lot more gunshots coming. I think that's from the pier over there somewhere. I'm not seeing any zombie aggro, so, I don't know. I'm gonna keep on, uh, working my way over to this hill, though, and, uh... See if I can see something. Holy fucking lag. Good lord, that's awful. Alright. Okay, so yeah, this this guy is somewhere... He, he's gotta be on the coast. He's gotta be on the coast. Uh, but anyways, going back to the cons. You know, there's no base building. You're not going to last very long unless you just decide to stay in the woods somewhere or something like that. And I mean, honestly, who wants to just hide out in the woods the entire time? I mean, I guess I can understand if you're like a sniper or something like that, you know. And, and see, the weird thing is a lot of people will say like, oh, you're just camping on this hill over here. And it's like, no, well, no, yes, yes and no, I am camping over here, but at the same time I got a sniper rifle, so I mean, it really doesn't make too much sense to just, like, run around town with a sniper rifle when you're going to be getting in close quarters combat. Never really understood that argument, but then again, I'm sure people have their points, you know, they have their arguments or whatever. What skin is this? Danish Royal Army, okay. I'm going to get into that. These zombies don't fucking kill me first. I'm surprised I'm not bleeding yet. Um, let's see, what's another con? Uh, no self-blood bags, so, you know, you're gonna want to have at least one other guy kind of there with you. Um, can't really think of too many other cons right now. I mean, for me at least, the cons kind of outweigh the pros because I'm... Oh yeah, I got a 09 hoodie. That's right. Let's see. Oh, I like this. I like the Danish Royal Army. That's not too bad. Hides the backpack and everything, so that's pretty good. Uh, but yeah, you know, as as far as I'm concerned, I'm more one of those DayZ players that like to build a base. I like to, you know, I like to have my life last a little while. You know, so 
I don't know. It's just, uh... Ooh, I think I see some zombies. Oh, no, that's a player. Yeah, they're chasing that guy. Where's he going? He's going to the gas station. Oh, I might have my first victim here. I don't know. Hopefully he doesn't see me. Yeah, there's a lot of zombies after this guy. It's around that bus down there at the gas station right now. I'm really hoping he doesn't see me. I could have swore I just heard a shot over there from my right, but I'm not exactly... Not exactly sure. Uh, some, you know, these zombies, yeah, there's definitely shots coming from over that way to the left. Uh, but some of these zombies have custom sounds, and I don't know, sometimes they sound like players are nearby, or they're eating, or something like that, and <laughs> there's, there's Taylor Swift saying this again. Oh, yeah. I think there's only one guy. Could be two. But this guy is definitely trying to get rid of this zombie aggro. I'm gonna just go ahead and put him out of his fucking misery. Wish I had a better gun than this. Try to move around. Where'd he go? Come on. There we go. Cookie! Cookie, I'm so sorry that you had to die. But it was necessary, and I think in the end I helped you. By killing you. <laughs> uh... But yeah, you know, I'm I'm more one of those players that like to build a base. I like to go out and do the AI missions every once in a while. You know, you gotta earn money somehow or another besides just killing people and hoping that they have some kind of money on them. Um, so I am definitely more of a fan of the Overpock mod. Uh, which, I mean, you know, it's just a combination of Epoch uh, and Overwatch, which is what this mod is, so... Oh, man. Uh, I really wish that I could repair one of these vehicles. I uh, do not think... Jesus Christ. I'm so worried about these fucking zombies. Okay, I don't have enough room. I'm so worried that one of these zombies just gonna one-shot me. I'm gonna fall over and pass out. Okay, there are definitely shots... ...over there somewhere. I'm just gonna keep on working on this bus and hope that none of these guys see me. But, I mean, somebody's probably, you know, they're probably gonna get a really good vantage, vantage point on me, and, uh, they're probably gonna kill me, so I'm just gonna keep running away. Um, but yeah, I mean, as, as far as Daisy Overwatch is concerned, like, as a whole, I think it's really fun, um... I definitely don't see myself playing it, uh, like, religiously or anything like that. Not as much as I play, like, uh, Overpock or anything like that. But, you know, if you're just wanting to get in and PvP, you're not worried about base building, you're not worried about vehicles, you're not worried about this, or that, or the other, you just want to get in, shoot people, you know, then Daisy Overwatch is probably the, the mod that you want to play. Um... But like I said, for me, though, I like base building. I like going out and doing AI missions and shit like that. I, I like what Overpock has to offer. So, I mean, I'm going to stick with Overpock. But Overwatch has definitely been... Uh, I don't want to say, like, a great experience. I mean, I have had fun on it. But at the same time, there's not really an end game. There's not really... I mean... I guess if you go on one of those servers that has, like, Salvation City on it or something like that, you know, like this server does, I'm sure that that can be kind of considered an in-game thing, but as far as just, like, overall features are concerned, I feel like Overpock has the, uh, the better feature list. Um, some of the zombie sounds are fucking weird and they sound awful, uh, at least in my opinion. Um... And yeah, I mean that's that's pretty much it. So Taylor Swift. Okay, I'm 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 just gonna call this right now. Taylor Swift's anus is deadly. 
I would not want to fuck with Taylor Swift's anus. Um, but anyways, yeah, that's just pretty much my, uh, my overall thoughts and or, uh, impressions on the Daisy Overwatch mod. Feel free to jump in the comments section. Let me know what you guys thought about Daisy Overwatch. Um, like I said, this video uh, is not going to wrap up Season 1 of Daisy Overwatch. Well, there's more shots coming from pretty close to me, so I'm probably going to die here shortly if the zombie doesn't fuck off. And Holy sh- Oh, come on. <laughs> right as I was about to end the fucking video, too. Um... But yeah, I mean, this the, the video is pretty much over with anyway, so I really don't care if I die. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, jump in the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys thought about Daisy Overwatch. This is not going to be the last Daisy Overwatch video for Season 1. Uh, I am going to be uploading some Battle of Belota stuff pretty soon. Had some sound issues with the other uh, video that I plan on making public about a day or so ago. I'm very surprised I'm not dead yet. But, uh, yeah, I had some audio issues with the video that I was going to upload about a day or so ago, so that is the, uh, I guess the reasoning for the delay in between the past couple videos, so, yeah, but everything's worked out now, and Battle of Belota will be returning soon, probably wrap it up with another three or four, maybe even five episodes, not really sure, uh, we'll be having a Daisy Overpock video by the end of the week, so, uh, Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave it a thumbs up, and I will catch you guys in the next one.